Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the faith-based film God and Salsa. Now, when I hear salsa, I think about chips and salsa. You know, really good, spicy. You know. No, this salsa is the dancing salsa. All right, and it's about a woman. She's uh, an analyst you know, of, of sorts, and she is divorced, and her teenage daughter, right at the start of the film, has committed suicide, and her life is just thrown upside down. She doesn't understand why it happened. She can't, she can't understand, you know, why God would let it happen. She's just really in turmoil, and she's sad, she's angry, all those emotions. But she sees an advertisement about a, a dance studio in LA where you can learn to salsa, and she decides maybe this will bring some joy into her life, get her mind off her troubles. Meanwhile, she goes back to work as a counselor, and she takes on the case of a young man who uh, his parents are also going through a divorce, and he is feeling the same emotions that she has felt over her daughter's suicide, and she tries to, to help him. And so it's, it's, what, it's a motivational movie. It you know, shows a, a way to, to get past some of the worst things that life can throw at you. I didn't know the cast at all. The counselor is played by Giovanna Vidal. Uh, the young man is played by Javier Luna. Uh, his mother is played by Sarah, Sarah Hernandez and his father, once we're getting the divorce, is played by Brian Fortuna. And Javier Luna, who plays the young man, I thought he was good. I thought he was, you know, stood out in the cast. And also Sarah Hernandez, who plays the mother getting the divorce, she is, she really comes across, she's a, a mean character in this film, and, and she conveys that. I like faith-based films. You know, this, this one, uh, even though it, you know, it isn't slick or anything, you know, like that. It's just, it's okay acting. It's, you know, not bad acting. It's acceptable acting. I like the premise of the story. I like, again, I like the message that it delivered. Uh, it's rated, it's not rated, but it has very mild profanity and very, very mild violence. And I scored it six out of 10. I put it above the average. The acting, the message, the presentation, warranted that if you're a fan of faith-based films and even if you're not this the story itself of of the road to recovery in these two situations is worth seeing so god in salsa has all of those elements but this has been jackie k cooper's entertainment rundown with a review of god and salsa